Hello everyone and welcome to the explanation video on quantifiers. Much, many, a lot of, few, a few, little, a little, and many more. What are quantifiers? Quantifiers identify the quantity of something, how much or how many of something you have. There are different quantifiers for different nouns. We have to differentiate in here between countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns you can count. For example, um, books or bananas. Uncountable nouns are those you cannot count. For example, water or coffee. We also have some um, quantifiers that can only be used with plural countable nouns, like few, many, several, with only uncountable nouns, little, much, a bit, a large amount of, or those that can be used with both, countable and uncount uncountable, hardly, any, some, a lot of, plenty of, etc. Let's take a look at the um, example, a quantifier and a noun. Many people um, love chocolate. There are many things to do today. Much wine is sold abroad. Much Italian wine is sold abroad. There are also different constructions like quantifier plus of plus determiner, and then only comes a noun. Some of the students in the course prefer digital classes to face-to-face -to -face classes. So we have quantifier, some, then we have of, determiner, and only then comes the noun. Many of the packages were damaged. You should write a letter of complaint. Again, quantifier, many, of, determiner and packages a noun. Um, are any of you ready with the assignment? So quantifier any of and then comes well in this case not a noun it's a pronoun. Much, many, a lot. When do we use them? Much is used with uncountable nouns something you cannot count. Many is used with countable nouns, something you can count. And a lot of is used with both. So if you are not sure whether it's much or many, can I count this thing? Can I not count this thing? I'm not sure. Go for a lot. There are many things on my to-do list. We have a lot of time. Don't stress about it. Many people drive to work. Much water is wasted when growing avocados. You don't see that um, letter ES in there. Little and few. Little and few um, are the quantifiers that you use to uh, describe the amount of something when you have a negative meaning, usually meaning not enough, not plenty, not much, almost nothing. Little attention is given to parking situation in big cities, it, meaning there all oh, barely any attention is given. There is little food in the house. We have to buy something urgently. Few students pass the final exam. I'm so disappointed. So barely no one. Little is used with uncountable nouns. Few is used with countable nouns. So you see, students can be counted. Food cannot be counted unless you put it in packages. Little attention. Attention is something that cannot be counted. Now we have a little, a few. What's the difference? 
A little a few has a completely opposite meaning to little and few. It has a positive meaning, meaning some sw small quality. There is a little food in the fridge. If you're hungry, meaning you won't starve, there is something in there. Would you like a little milk in your coffee? Some milk? We had a few cookies for lunch, so pretty much enough. Little, again, is used with uncountable nouns and few is used with countable nouns. Some and any. Some is used with positive statements. Any is used with negative statements. Let's take a look at the examples. There is some milk in the fridge. Unfortunately, I don't have any lactose-free milk. So we have some milk. This is a positive statement. There is some milk in the fridge. Unfortunately, this is already a negative statement. I don't have any lactose-free milk. Are there any cookies left? It's a question. That's why we use any as a um, quantifier. I don't drink any coffee after 2 p.m. I cannot fall asleep later. So any because we have a negative statement in here. I took care of some stuff in the city center. So we have a normal positive statement. That's why we go for some. Enough and plenty. Enough and plenty mean pretty much a sufficient amount. Enough of something. I have enough of something. Um, they can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. I'm not hungry anymore. I had plenty of soup for lunch. I'm stuffed. Stop running. We have plenty of time before our train leaves. I think we bought enough vegetables for our next couple of days. But we don't have enough fruit. Ooh, sorry, that's a mistake. We don't have enough fruit. So we have enough in here and enough. How much and how many? How much and how many are uh, quantifiers that are used in questions? You know that much is used for um, uncountable nouns and many is used for countable nouns. How many times have you been to the opera? So times is something you can count once, twice, three times, hundred times, million times, billion times. That's why you have many. How many people were at the party? People is something you can count. That's why you've used many. How much bread do we need? Bread cannot be counted unless you put it in some sort of a shape. For example, a loaf of, of bread. Also, you usually know when traveling, when you ask somebody about the prices, you use uh, the construction, how much? How much does this house cost? How much is the milk? Thank you for your attention. I hope the problem of um, quantifiers in English will not be a problem for you anymore.